Right, so we are now going live and welcome to my Facebook Live. Today is Wednesday and today is November. Did you guys know that November is traditional and alternative health month yeah so this month we're supposed to prepare or we're supposed to uh, let people know more about the traditional and alternative healthcare options that they have so just to uh, invite you guys please type i want down below at the comment section and i'm going to send you invites to my talk on november 13 my talk is asthma control for less and today this episode of my facebook live is the top three alternatives that you can have for asthma so what are the alternatives for asthma well let's take a look at it first is yes november is the traditional and alternative medicine month so it's just fitting that we will be talking about alternative medicines or traditional medicines or both in fact you know the, the, the there's a law called the TAC law or the traditional and alternative healthcare law and it was passed in 1987 by then uh, Senator uh, Flavier, no? and he is one of the few senators we have who is a medical doctor. Today, uh, do we? Yeah. So, not you don't find medical doctors that often in the uh, in uh, in the Senate or in the Congress. So he's one of the few who is in the Sen who was in the Senate, and he passed this particular law. The premise of this law was that there were uh, there's a lot of traditional and alternative healthcare providers all over the country, and that if you are able to utilize the traditional and alternative healthcare systems properly, we may be able to save you a lot of money. Yes, and that's money for your vacation, for your college, for your house, and for your investment. That is a lot of money that you can save. This is, of course, the premise of the law. Now, let's take a look at this. Um, so if you're going to ask about alternative medicines, the question to ask is, what are the alternatives that we have for asthma medicines? So, you know, this uh, asthma medicines, we usually have at least two kinds of inhalers. You have steroids, you have uh, other medicines to open up your airways, you have anti-allergies. What are the alternatives to this? Well, first, uh, you'll be surprised that some of these alternatives have been around much longer than their Western medicine counterparts and the way they are attacking or the way they uh, address asthma and asthma problems can be very different from the way these medicines handle it. And that's precisely why this is called alternative because they are doing things in an alternative way and uh, sometimes the way that they explain the disease is also uh, different. It's an alternative way of explaining how the disease comes about. So let's take a look at the first one and our very first uh, well, it's number three, and this is massage and acupressure. So when you have asthma, many times may you will be finding yourself having headache frequently at the back or shoulder pain or chest pain because your muscles here and here are very tired. No? So people with asthma, they have a hard time breathing, and whenever they breathe, they go, ah, they breathe like that. And so these muscles here, they become tired. And when they're tired, they cause spasm. And this spasm can cause your lungs to, to cough and become very uncomfortable. I remember I had one particular patient. She was having cough for more than two years. And she called up, uh, someone referred her to me. And suddenly she called up really late at night and told me, what should I take? And I told her, let me see you first. So when I got to see her, I saw that the, the muscles here were twitching differently. So I asked uh, someone to squeeze her shoulders and her cough stopped <laughs> after two years she's been taking different kinds of medicines and doing all sorts of laboratory tests i told her it's your muscles here it's switching so massage and acupressure can help you stop those twitches of these muscles so you can try massaging your muscles here over here oftentimes your muscles on the front can also be very painful lower back uh, and even all the way down to your leg. So you massage these and there are acupressure points that you can press and when you press them, you will feel uh, that there are muscle groups that will actually suddenly get relief and uh, the spasms can actually stop. So this is our first, uh, our number three alternative <coughs> treatment for asthma, massage and acupressure. And you will find uh, specialized books on massages, different kinds of massages. And oftentimes they have a uh, section about asthma, how 
to treat asthma with massage. Why is asthma always uh, mentioned? That's because asthma is the world's most common chronic disease. Do you know that one out of every 10 Filipinos have asthma? So that's how common it is and that's why it's specially mentioned in many acupressure and massage books. All right, so this is number one. Number two, well, actually it's number three. Number two is meditation. You know, I, I just got off uh, talking to someone who has his own meditation blog, uh, Joseph and I'm very happy uh, to, to let him uh, to that he told me you know the, the, the you know the breathing and meditation uh, was uh, the, the breathing was really helping him out now and really uh, when you meditate it's a great way it's an amazing way for you to release your stress and your tension and uh, and when you have less stress less tension you will have uh, less possibilities of having asthma or even when you have asthma it's a great way to be able to reduce the stress tension and anxiety of asthma so meditation is an age-old technique uh, that has been practiced in many religions and uh, you get to meditate on nice things be sure that when you're meditating you're meditating on nice things and this is an amazing technique so number two is meditation uh, also age old and uh, lots of people have been doing this uh, and lastly yes when you when you do things uh, when you do meditation it induces relaxation and hopefully relax your muscles that cause the spasms of asthma all right and lastly number one number one is the buteco method the buteco method was developed in the 1960s by a russian physician named by named Konstantin Buteko and uh, it is a system that teaches you how to listen to your body and how to respond to it particularly uh, through through breathing and you can feel uh, you will be able to know what food affects your breathing you will understand what activities can affect your breathing and how you can regulate your breathing so that those activities will not cause you to have asthma and in case you have asthma there are ways by which you can regulate your breathing to stop your asthma and this is all taught in the buteco method and the buteco method has had a lot of clinical trials already around the world uh, all the way up in canada all the way down in uh in all the way down to um to australia we've even had studies uh, clinical trials being done as far as iran as far as egypt and yes we do have trial studies that have been done in the philippines and they have been showing very promising results on the buteco method and this is one reason why i am very uh, i'm very happy to teach the buteco method and in fact if you know somebody with asthma or if you are somebody if you are somebody with asthma the buteco method can help you now what i do is i teach the a workshop called the breathing camp and the breathing camp is more than just the buteco method so i we could probably say it is buteco method plus that's because in the buteco in the breathing camp i teach the buteco method but at the same time i teach you how to do your massages i teach you how to do some some acupressure points that are specific for you and i also teach you how to combine this with your meditation and other activities so the breathing camp is one of the best ways to learn the buteco method uh, i also give you some medical advice regarding your asthma in the same workshops so again one of the best ways to learn the buteco method is through my breathing camp workshops now i do this uh, i run the breathing camp workshops once a month and i've been teaching it i teach it around the world worldwide and because now we are uh, online i'm able to teach it online uh on through zoom and it's become much more convenient for me and my patients and the effect has been uh it's been noteworthy it's been very good uh, on my students all right so i invite you all to my talk on november 13 called asthma control for less uh starts at 8 30 p.m november 13 please type i want in the comment section to get your invite to this talk in this talk i'm going to explain why the biteco method works and why it is for you if you know anybody anybody who has asthma your friends who have asthma then just close your eyes and think do i know any friends with asthma invite them to my talk on november 13 just put it on the on the on the comment section i want and i'll send you your uh invites your exclusive invites all right i'll see you then so i'm looking forward to your comments and i hope to see you in my talk all right let's all help more and more people with getting rid of their asthma using alternative and traditional healthcare techniques i'll see you and uh, have a good night